Okay, there we go. Tweet sent out. So now. Here's the deal. As you know, this is a pay-per-view event. And the li thanks to the likes of uh, Demon and Silent Hero and everybody else that has donated bits uh, and so on and so forth, we're able to get this pay-per-view done today. Little bit. Come on. No reason you would be barking up a storm. So... He's not gonna stop. That's that's wonderful. Uh, so here's the here's the deal. As you all remember, there was a boss mode, uh, kind of like what Game Attack does, uh, that you might have seen them do. I did the same thing. But what I, I'm going to use that now uh, as a way to get pretty much all the pay per views up until like SGC of 2K17 early. Uh, I'm not gonna start it right now. Uh, I'm gonna start it on the Screw Attack Knockback next week. Uh, the wonderful little thing is gonna be up there. Uh, it's going to stay there for all the time. Whenever I stream, it's gonna be there. Uh, wrestling show or not. So therefore, uh, any bits, any follows, any subscriptions that I got, uh, if whoever is the boss gets defeated, boom, the next pay-per-view is free, so on and so forth, up until, you know, we end 2K17 and go into 2K18, which comes out tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm gonna try it on stream tomorrow so look forward to that uh hopefully maybe shiro might join me tomorrow uh since i think he's getting it early maybe johnny's getting it early i'm not sure about johnny uh tonight for me oh you're sta you staying up are you shiro okay okay uh so yeah we got that to uh, look forward to And, of course, as you know, this is a pay-per-view event, so all sorts of insane, crazy things are going to happen. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy this show. Uh, I will say, can I do the 2K18 thing around 3.30 p.m.? Well, I don't know. Maybe if I can contain myself, I wouldn't guarantee it, though. So. Uh, around 3.30. It might be earlier. Hell, it might be later. I don't know. I don't know. But it will be tomorrow. I'm off work at 3. Okay. Well, either way, I will be poking around and checking out 2K18 tomorrow at some point. Uh, but right here, right now, tonight, let's get this party going. What do you say? All right, let's get this party going and get into the show proper because we got a lot of matches. We got a lot of title shots, a lot of weird matches popping up. Some of them I reworked. One of them I didn't have to. I hope you realize which one it is because, oh, oh, it, the, the game put it together and mwah, just mwah. Great. Great match. So, what do you say we go ahead and we stop with me flapping my jaws and we get on with the action? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the G1 Wrestling Universe. 
We got a big event for you here tonight, a super card event known only as the deadliest of death battles. We got a lot of insane matches for you here tonight. All the titles up for grabs, intense rivalries coming to the end, all right here, right now, live on the G1 Wrestling Universe. We are here at the Death Battle Arena, where anything can happen at any point, at any time. There's going to be cages. There's going to be cells. Anything and everything can happen. I hope you're all ready for some intense action right here, right now, live tonight. But I will say this to those here already. Up first, we got the Women's Championship match. Uh, as you know, Relic Raider is the current champion. She's going up against somebody quite interesting. Uh, this is one of the few matches that I did change. I changed the stipulation. I changed it into a table. All right, welcome everybody to the G1 Wrestling Universe Death Battle. And we are starting things off big time right here, right now on Death Battle. Supercard pay-per-view event. We're starting off with a women's championship match. And first out is the challenger able to prove herself to be the number one contender. It is Joanna Chase. Coming out of the ring, gonna take on the champion. Gonna see if she can tear the belt away from her.
But here's the thing, here's the special stipulation here, because it is time for a death battle. This specific women's championship match, it is not a regular match. There will be no three count. There will be no submission. There's no ladder, there's no cage. But rather, it is a table match. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a table match. First off, out of the gate here. These women will compete. The first one to go all the way through a table, break it in half, in the splinters even, it doesn't matter, will be the new women's champ. And anything goes as long as one of these women go through that table. And ah, Joanna Chase looks ready. As now, here is your G1 women's champion of the G1 wrestling universe, Relic Raider. All right, there she is. Your ladies G1 champ and mine Relic Raider. All she's got to do to hold on to that pristine gold title right around her waist is put Joanna Chase right through the table. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, what this is all about, what it's all for, the G1's Women's Championship title. There she is, Joanna Chase, Relic Raider. And we are off to the races. There is the bell. As you can see, the table's already there on the outside, menacing as they may be. One of these ladies is going to have to go flying through one. And oh, Relic Raider, starting off things harsh here kick right into the side and oh she's got the arm and now uh oh relic raider the champ to the outside and here comes joanna chase right behind her and oh dear what is this she's going for the table and joanna chase grabbing one of her own and here they go they meet and what is going on oh joanna chase Max Relic Raider right in the face of that table. Now Chase setting up the table here inside the death battle squared circle. Out she goes to catch her prey, but Relic Raider picking up the other table here, throwing it down. She sees Joanna. And oh, crossbody taking her down on the outside. And now, whoa, up, over, oh my God, the knees right to the face, taking her down here. Joanna Chase on the outside of the ring. Anything goes, there's no count outs here. Somebody's got to go through one of these tables at some point to be the winner. And oh, Relic Raider with the uppercut, fighting back here, fighting champion. But oh no, there's a reversal kick to the back of the leg from Joanna Chase. And oh dear. Here, up. Oh. Whoa, Joanna Chase. Oh, dropping the elbow. Got to say, I can understand. Relic Raider might be out of sorts ever since winning the championship. Lots of things and have opened up for her since gaining that title. And oh, right into that steel barricade here on the outside. And now into the ring goes Joanna. Here, Relic Raider, ever since winning that gold, winning that championship, actually able to uh, become a first-time homeowner, actually. And oh, off the ropes, holy cow, flying through the air. Relic Raider, now bouncing, chases, head, Joanna's head right off the mat there. So, Relic Raider giving it all she got. She wants to hold on to that belt, hold on to her house, hold on to everything. It's no uh oh. Joanna has her all nice and crowded up. What is this? Oh my God. And uh oh. Stepping to the side of the ring. 
Up, oh, changes their mind. And oh, reversal. Up, over, down, and around, and no, not through the table. So she went flying across the ring and up on the ropes goes Relic Raider. Boom, nails Joanna. And off the rope she goes, and oh, she misses Relic Raider, but she takes out the table. That does not count, though. Somebody has to put the other through the table. You just cannot go through the table yourself. That really wouldn't make much sense. As now that table is gone. Joanna going for another. All right, there we go. But Relic Raider back up in action. Joanna chases her down. And now, uh oh, what is this? Oh, she's hoisting her up to the top. And whoa, no! Reversal, holy cow! Joanna chases down. Relic Raider cooking up something here on the outside. As Joanna crawls back to her feet. As Relic Raider, the champ waiting on the outside. And now, oh, back inside, Joanna gets. Finally decided what she wants to do, but she misses that kick. And, oh, man. And now Joanna back to the outside. Now here comes Relic Raider through the ropes. Going to meet her on the outside. Grabs her. Going to put her right back into the ring. Oh, helping her along with the elbow to the face here. Now Joanna crawling back to her feet finally. Here we are on the outside, throwing her right back into the ring though. Relic Raider, oh, nailing that kick to the side. Now gonna stomp on the Side and outside goes Relic Raider. Now to the outside goes uh, Joanna Chase following her. And, oh, there's an elbow right to the skull. Now Joanna Chase being thrown inside. Okay. I don't, hang on, let's see what happens here.
Okay, there we go. Now, Joanna Chase running back into the ring. Finally, the action getting back where it needs to be inside the ring. And oh! Now, Joanna going to the outside. God damn it. Really? A table match? The fucking AI is doing this shit? We're going to have to restart. All right, the bell has rung. And oh, Joanna Chase starting off strong. Here in the opening bout of the death battle pay-per-view and oh down below goes relic raider now working on the arm relic raider the champ gonna take out her arm so maybe she can't lift her through one of those tables and now uh oh relic raider on the outside circling but oh here comes joanna chase but relic raider with that table oh man Back in you get there, Joanna Chase, with the help of a elbow to the face. And now Relic Raider with the table in the ring it goes. And out of the ring goes Joanna, but back in she gets and oh, from behind. Oh, but there's a reversal. Now Relic Raider with the table setting it up. And oh, missing with that spin kick allows Relic Raider to get the upper hand. And uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Just moving the table aside. She did not go through it. And oh, she hits the table, knocking it down. She's going to have to set it back up, but she hits Joanna. And oh, punched in the gut. Joanna is up and oh, knocking her down right on top of that wooden, hard wooden table. And oh, she hits the mark again, right there, off those ropes. And oh. Now Joanna in the corner. But oh, out she goes with a kick to the gut. And oh, taken down with a nice clothesline right there and dropping the leg. Relic Raider needs to set up a table. She wants to win this, but now going off that second rope, boom! Now off the ropes, and oh, no, missing with that elbow. Joanna Chase quickly back up, but is immediately grabbed by Relic Raider. And swatted away, Joanna now on the offensive. And now Joanna going after that table. And oh! Oh, using the table as a weapon now. Joanna setting it up. Relic Raider writhing in pain there. So we could have a new champion if she manages to grab a hold of her and put her through that table. And oh, to the outside. Oh, no, she misses the table, though. She missed the table. Relic Raider. Trying to get back up here on the outside. Oh, Joanna comes and stomps right on her back. Now, oh, missing with that kick. But, oh, manages to grab her, take her down. Still in control, even on the outside here. 
Going to stomp away on the arm. But uh-oh, Relic Raider grabs her arm, drags her down. Face first there into the cold, hard floor. And now back into the ring goes Joanna. And now, uh-oh, on the outside, off the top, and boom, hitting the table, smashing it. Not gonna have to go get another. Joanna Chase trying to crawl away. And oh, a stomp right to the foot. Now, elbows. And oh, belly to her slam. Oh, down goes Joanna. She needs to set up that table. Somebody needs to go through a table. And Joanna trying to get back up. Relic Raider sees it, stops what she's doing to go and continue the beating. But Joanna, oh, right on top of the table. And oh, the splash. And no, rejected. And oh, takedown right there. That looks like we got the action back in the ring once again. Relic Raider with the uppercut. And oh man. Yep, they're just going to fucking go outside.
So next match is actually a rivalry match. The ending of a rivalry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after Relic Raider retaining her title, up next. We got the be all end all of hopefully this rivalry coming in and to an end here at the death battle. We got first coming out this. This man right there, Eric Storm, part of the Storm family. Him and Barrel Dragon of all people. Not been getting along very well. Finally gonna be settled at, at this pay-per-view after the last pay-per-view. And that Battle Royal for the WGC title. Eric Storm eliminated this man coming out. Barrel Dragon, these two going after each other quite hard. Barrel Dragon having to constantly put Eric Storm in his place. And now tonight, it all ends. Everything, all caution thrown to the wind. And a Falls Count Anywhere match. Anything can happen in these types of matches. And of course, as you well know, these are the types of matches Barrel Dragon excels at. All right, looks like we are getting things started here. Everybody appears to be ready. All we need is that bell, and there it is. It rings, and oh! Starting things off with a vicious left and right. Eric Storm, oh, not gonna last against Barrel Dragon. Oh, and a chop. Just taking Storm, chopping him right down the styes right there. Holy cow. Barrel Dragon now gonna finally put an end to all of this shenanigans and tomfoolery from the Storm family, from Eric Storm in particular. After prematurely stopping his uh, any advancement for the WGC title in that battle royal. Now off the ropes, double axe handle right to the top of the head right there. Holy cow. Barrel Dragon now stomping him right into the ground. Now Barrel Dragon going to the outside. Oh no. Barrel, he's got a toy, he's got a hammer, and oh, he uses it, holy cow. Barrel, Barrel Dragon, savage. Going wild all over Eric Storm, now just trying to. All over Eric Storm, just beating him down, and oh, the big barrel kick. Storm is down. Oh, again, with the arm. Barrel just taking apart Eric Storm bit by bit. But, oh, there we are, Eric Storm with a reversal. And, oh, no, Barrel not going to let it happen. Barrel now sent to the outside. Oh, my gosh. 
Jackson tumbling far and away there on the outside of the ring. And now, whoop, up over the shoulders goes Storm. Oh, the double chop as now they fight down the alley into the rampway, but Storm bringing it back towards the ring here. Oh, but Barrel Dragon, shoulder takedown. And, oh my God, Barrel, oh, a fist right to the face. And again, oh my God. Third time's the charm. Oh my God, Barrel now, Storm is bleeding and he's not done. He's not done with that head of Eric Storm, but Eric Storm trying to fight back. Oh, punch to the gut. He's busted open and still fighting. Eric Storm doing his best to fight back, but Barrow not going to let it happen. Eric Storm fighting with everything he's got. He has seen red, the red of his own blood. Now stomping away here at ringside on Barrel. But oh, a big right hand from Barrel. Oh my God, Barrel Dragon. Right into that neck breaker right there. We got a cover. This could be it. One, two, three. That does it there on the outside of the ring. Eric Storm, no match for Barrel Dragon. Vicious as always. And as you can see right there, Barrel just putting away Eric Storm like he was nothing, taking him out like the tr trash, making him bleed his own blood and lying down for the three count. Barrel Dragon with the victory here, second match, not the first match, only the second. We got plenty more to come. Stay tuned, everybody. We even got the rest of the championships on the line. Stay tuned, everybody. We got more action coming your way.
All right, who's ready for a big one? Who's ready for the next match for the G1 Championship? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a big match coming your way right now after Barrel Dragon just taking out Eric Storm. Up next is the G1 title match, the G1 championship up on the line. And as you can see, it is going to be in a hell in a cell match. First coming out, we have Ryan Haywood. King Ryan himself is here. Starting things off with what could be the first of many cage title matches, cell matches. We don't know what's in store next. But it looks like King Ryan is here and he is looking to dominate and take the title away from the G1 known as Silent Hero. He is here to get revenge as now no more slippery secretive works. No more shenanigans from King Ryan. He is here to dominate. Ryan Haywood is here. But now, here he comes. The G1 champ, your champion, silent hero. Going one-on-one -on -one with Ryan Haywood here in a cell match. Hell in a cell here on Death Battle. Everything's gonna be left in the ring, but only one man is gonna walk out with that title around their waist. As you can see it up there looming oh so ominously up above this arena, that cell. Gotta say, this is a big, important title match. Silent Hero just getting that title back from Jack Vitillo. That title needs to stay with the G1s. There it is right there, the G1 Game Day G1 Championship title. But as you can see right there, Ryan Haywood Dressed in his most evil attire. Evil King Ryan is out here. Can he rule this Hell in a Cell match? Can he overcome? Can he get back for the people at Achievement Hunter that G1 championship belt that is held by this man, the G1? Silent Hero looks confident. Got that belt, gonna have to give it up. It's all going up for grabs right here. But hopefully this ends everything with that slippery son of a gun right there, Ryan Haywood. Done everything, even tried to get somebody he knew, Rove, in a title match. Tried to help him take away the title. It did not work, because Silent Hero making quick work and right out. To the outside goes Ryan Haywood, looking for a toy, grabs a chair. Silent Hero not gonna let him have it, but ah, oh, there's a reversal. Scoops him up as we get a look 
from the outside of the cage. And oh my God, right on top of the chair on the outside. Oh my God, his head just bouncing right off of it. Now an elbow. Oh, what is this? Silent Hero being thrown down range. And oh, now Silent Hero fighting back. Back into the ring goes Silent Hero. That is where he is uh, most useful. But oh, now from behind, Ryan Haywood sending Silent Hero off the ropes. And oh, missing with that elbow. This allows Silent Hero to gain control. And oh my goodness, vicious Russian leg sweep. Down goes Ryan. Now Silent Hero looking for a little something. Found himself a nice little toy in a sledgehammer. And oh no, Ryan with a big right hand making him drop it. And back into the ring with Ryan Haywood. You gotta say, him coming out here in his King Ryan outfit. It's like he's saying he's practically destined for this title reign. But Silent Hero is here doing everything he can to try and prevent that. And oh, atomic drop. Down goes Ryan once again. Now Silent Hero on the side of the, of the ring. Motioning, trying to get Ryan's attention, trying to get him to get back up. Ryan not moving. There we go. Finally back to his feet. And Silent Hero as he tries to crawl away. And now, uh-oh, what is this? Up and boom, down he goes. And oh, Silent Hero getting in on this. Getting everything hyped up as Ryan trying to get back to his feet again. But oh, there's an elbow. S Ryan striking back. And now to the outside goes Ryan Haywood. What are we going to get out here? But Silent Hero sees him here on the outside. Ryan moving back, but Silent Hero grabs him. Down he goes. Stomping away now. Now Silent Hero, oh! Jamming him right into that cage wall over and over and over again. The damage. Oh, now to the steel pole. There is even less. Oh, my God, Silent Hero. Bouncing. Ryan Haywood's head right off that steel pole. And oh, no. Oh, no. Silent Hero looking. He's looking for it. Here it comes. The hero's fall. This could be it for Ryan Haywood. Oh, he's down. He's got the leg hook. This could be it. One. Two, three, that's it! That's it! Silent Hero making quick work and use of the cage and everything around it. With the hero's fall, taking out the so called King Ryan. Silent Hero, savage as savage could be, bouncing Ryan Haywood off of that unforgiving steel cage, bouncing his head off of the pole. And we have more in store coming your way next. Stay tuned, everybody. Gotta say, that is the first time, though, I've ever actually seen the AI interact with the cage. And Silent was just bouncing Ryan off of it over and over and over. And yeah, I saw earlier, Lexi, if you're still in here, if you want in, I can make you a character. If you want, it's not too late. 
Uh, the cutoff time is probably going to be like it's like another two pay per views away. So if you want in, I can make you a character, Lexi. No big deal. I just got to ask you a few simple questions and such. If you want in on this, maybe you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the G1 Championship is staying with the G1s. But now coming out, we got a red Roberta. She's going to be taking on Short Bus Erica once again. So uh, it has been said she has uh, actually been avoid, avoiding uh, medical examinations before this match so there's a good chance she uh, might be fighting with a bit of an injury we do not know but either way it looks like Roberta seems to be uh, poised and ready for action regardless of injury or no And here comes the lady that has been afflicting her with those possible injuries. Short bus Erica. These two have had it out for each other ever since the Elimination Chamber match, which actually shotgunned Joanna Chase, helped her go towards the top, towards that title match. Ultimately, she was not able to go through with everything, Relic Raider retaining. So hopefully, this will be the end of this back and forth, this rivalry between these two. Here we go. There's the bell ringing, and we are off as they tie up. Roberta with that arm, twisting it round and round, trying to keep Short Bus Erica all locked up, but still trying to do damage here. Obviously trying to play things safe, but now Erica with the reversal. She does have any injuries. That'll be smart to try and play it safe. Not to aggravate anything, we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. But, oh, no. Oh, okay. There we are, Erica. Short bus, Erica. Comes out swinging there. But Roberto, once again, with that arm, 
twisting it all the way around. And now up the ropes goes Short Bus with that reversal. Short Bus Erica now. Oh, stomp right to the midsection. Holy cow. Now, uh oh, Erica. Erica, where are you going? What are you doing? Off the top. Oh, my God. And now the elbows. Oh, my goodness. Erica just brutalizing a red Roberta. Oh, now from behind. Oh, my God. Into the corner she goes. Not looking good for red Roberta. She's all tied up upside down in the corner, but there's a reversal. Roberta trying to fight out of it here. It's now here in this match, the be all end all. Last woman standing will be the tour de force as you can see the ref counting. Up to five already. This is not looking good for Roberta. Up to seven. Oh, no. Eight. There we go. Roberta finally stirs it. Oh, was immediately hit with a DDT. Hopefully this match, this last woman standing, can finally put the nail in the coffin between these two women here. It's now, uh oh, what is this? Running back and oh, oh my God. Down goes Roberta again. Face down in the mat, she lays. Five, not looking good here. There's seven, she's barely started the stir. And there, oh. Erica right on top of her. Definitely tell she is at a bit of a disadvantage, but she's fighting her way through it here. And oh, my God, on the outside now. So now the fight has spilled out here to ringside. Oh, oh, the kicks to the face once again. Erica on top of things, back into the ring. Roberta laid out here on the outside. Up at seven again, and here comes Erica to meet her. But, oh, no, slapped aside. No, come back as Erica is thrown back into the ring. Can she take advantage? Oh, a nice swift kick, and down goes Erica here. Can Roberta pull it out? Can she come back from the brink here? She's got her hook, but no, she blocks. Oh, the reversal suplex right there. Now Roberta back to her feet, doing everything she can to stay on top of short bus Erica here. Sending her off the ropes now, and oh, nailing her with the drop kick. Down goes Erica, trying to pull herself up. Hit with the right hand. Erica, not doing too good. Oh, big right hand. Now, oh my God, from behind. Roberta, oh man. But Roberta, not done yet. And oh my God, the belly belly slam. That's what took her out earlier today. In the G1. Earlier in the G1 uh, Wrestling Universe, Game Attack takedown, and she's down again. It's up to five. There's seven. It's up to eight, and oh, no, stopping her from getting back to her feet with a stomp. But the ref stops the count. It's now Roberta. Oh, nice. Quick suplex. Once again, the count begins. Roberta right there on top of short bus Erica. 
Count up to five now, halfway there. Got to make it all the way to 10. Eight, and oh, she stirs and immediately is kicked right in the side of the head. And now Roberta, oh, she's got her. And oh, just whipping her across the ring. Erica is down once again. But Roberta is not done, now sending her right into the corner. And oh! The count starts once more. And as you can see, Roberta looks like uh, she has hit her limit, but able to slowly but surely get back to her feet here. Uh-oh, we're up to eight now, and now finally able to get back up to her feet and into the corner, being set up, up top she goes. And oh no, Re Erica, short bus Erica. Oh, down goes Roberta. Swinging to this with that kick though. And all the elbows, the back and forth here between these two women. Going all out now in the corner. Once again goes short bus Erica. And oh no, just whipping her hard to the other side. And oh, right back out she goes. And oh, she's got her. Belly to belly slam. There's two. Roberta able to get back up to her feet. Up to her feet once again. We're up to six now. Is this it for short bus Erica? As we are up to eight now, she is yet to stir. We are nine and oh no. Now Erica with a red Roberta in the corner, setting her up to the top. Oh my God, what is she doing? Oh my God, Erica, how, why, oh. Roberta is down. She appears to be out after something like that. Holy cow. We are up to eight. She has yet to move. There's nine. Oh, no. This is it. Ten. That is it. Red Roberta is out. Short bus Erica coming out on top here. Tonight on the G1 Wrestling Universe pay-per-view death battle. Oh, there you see. That sure as heck did not help the situation. Holy cow. A red Roberta tried everything in her power, but it was this right here. How did she even do that? Able to take her out. Finally get the count of 10. Oh, man. Stay tuned, because up next, I do believe we have a... Uh, Bit of a rivalry match between two men. Extreme rules and all try and put an end to it between the likes of uh, Sean Boland and Johnny Chase. So stay tuned for that next. And of course, we still got the tag team championships and whatever the heck is going to happen for the WGC title coming up later. So I uh, hope you all are good and ready for what comes up next. Man.
All right, there we are. We are loaded. Ready to pull the trigger here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it once again here on the G1 Wrestling Universe. And first down, looks like we got Sean Bolin. It's going to be this man. Bolin versus Johnny Chase. Extreme rules match. Anything can go. Anything can happen. Here on Death Battle right here tonight on the G1 Wrestling Universe. If you don't know, these two men going back and forth, back and forth. The main thing is, though, that man right there, Sean Bolin doing anything and everything he can to get the upper hand to get one over on the likes of Johnny Chase. As Bolin trying to keep just careening over and getting wins, Johnny Chase doing what he can to put a stop to it, but Bolin himself doing everything he can to get the upper hand, the sucker punches, even so much as Johnny Chase calling him out. The Johnny Chase, that man right there, days ago on the Game Attack takedown, he calls him out. And Sean Bolin just straight up kicks him in the dick, of all things. So as you can see, Johnny Chase not too happy about the situation. Though he's probably quite good and happy. This is a Extreme Rules match. Anything can happen in this match, as you may or may not know. Uh, weapons. Inside, outside the ring, doesn't matter. No DQ. As long as you get a pinfall or submission inside that ring, that is all that matters. Because there he is. Johnny freaking Chase is here. He's in the ring, and we need to get this going. Now, Johnny Bolin. Here we are. Ringing that bell. And, uh-oh. Bolin starting off. Oh, neck breaker taking him down. Now Bolin, oh, oh, uppercut. Uppercut from Sean Bolin. And oh, kick right to the shoulder blade, taking down Johnny Chase there. Now a knee to the back. And again, trying to take out Johnny Chase bit by bit. It's now, oh, he's waiting. And oh, he just kicks him down. Oh, but he misses with that kick. Now, oh no. From behind, Bolin, he's up. Nice backdrop. Down goes Chase once again. And now, uh oh, Johnny Chase with the, oh, the arm trying to just break it off now. Sean Bolin sent off the ropes here. Oh, swing around and round we go. Neck breaker. Bolin hits the mat off the ropes. Boom! Johnny Chase taking down Sean Bolin. Johnny Chase time to uh, get quite a bit of uh, revenge here after all the tomfoolery that that man, oh, just punched him in the side, has put Johnny through. And oh my God, just decked him right in the back of the head, now sending him into the corner. Uh-oh. He's positioning him on the top rope here. Not good, not good. Oh, oh no. From the top, oh! Chase down once again, Bolin. Oh, the Sean, Bolin, the Sean special spin kick. Laying out Johnny Chase here. Johnny Chase pulled himself up and oh, here comes Bolin. Oh, the Sean super kick. Now we got a cover here already. Holy cow, one, two, and no. Even after all that, Johnny Chase able to get that shoulder up. Now with the legs, but oh, Johnny pushes him away. Oh, stop, right to the stomach. And now, oh my God, what is this? He's got them all hooked up and, oh man. Bull and taken down. As Chase gains control, but Bolin quickly back up. Johnny catches him. Oh, snap, suplex. Down goes Bolin once more. As Johnny Chase has found his groove here. 
and oh, spin kick. Now off the ropes, and oh, down, and again, and oh, swing and a miss, he catches him, boom. Now Johnny, oh, what is this? Johnny Chase has him hooked. He's up, oh, vertical super, oh my God. Johnny Chase with the cover now. One, there's two, and no. Even after all that, Johnny can't believe it. I can't believe it. Bolden able to kick out. And oh, the uppercut, Bolden back in the game here. He's got him, and boom. And only a two count there. And now, looks like Johnny, oh, with the leg. Johnny Chase once again got the leg, but no, Bolin. Getting him down, gonna try and put this away once again. There's one. And only a one count. Johnny Chase forcing his way out of that cover. And you can hear the crowd not too happy with Bolin after his attitude change. And, oh, he's got Johnny up. Oh, no, but a reversal. And boom, face first. Down he goes. And oh, he's got the leg. Down goes Johnny once again. And oh, there's a reversal, Johnny Chase back in this. And oh, a right and a left and a right. Everything back and forth between two. And oh my God, bowling down once more. Johnny Chase stomping and oh my God, the knee. Just trying to dismantle Sean Bolin bit by bit here after everything he's done, but Bolin with the arm, oh man. Now Bolin sending him away into the corner and uh-oh Bolin oh he's got him he's got him all tied up in that corner not looking good oh and oh the spin kick one more time from Sean oh man but oh Johnny Chase was ready ready and waiting taking him down right there and now Johnny Chase has got him oh my god Got him, shoulders are down, one, two, no! As he turns him over, he's at a submission now. Is he gonna tap? But oh, Sean Bolin able to wiggle out of it, grab that leg. So Johnny gonna try for a cover here. Only getting a two count though. Johnny Chase uh, looking a little aggravated, it seems right there. And now, oh, nope, block. Oh, punch right to the gut. Now bowling up on the shoulders, but no. Oh, we got a quick cover here. Johnny Chase, two, nope, not gonna happen. Bolin fighting back here. Oh, left, right to the face, and oh, another spin kick, holy cow. Busted that out, nearly out of nowhere. Bolin hooks the leg, gonna try and put him away once again. Two, and no, able to get out once again at two. And oh, swing and a miss. Johnny from behind taking him down. Now, uh oh, uppercut, boom. Bowling, oh, he nails the super kick again. Catches him, rolls him up. One, two, three. Oh, no, not three. Sean Bowling not happy. He heard three, but it's not a three. So Sean Bolin's gonna repeat the super kick process and bam, nails him. He's down again in the middle of the ring as he hooks the leg. One, two, three, that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Bolin 
paying a little lip service to Johnny Chase there. There you see, boom, the spin kick laying out Johnny Chase as well as a few nicely measured super kicks. And there's the three, the fake three count. Johnny though, not without some good offense. Ultimately though, it was all for naught because here it is, boom! With that super kick laying him out right there in the middle of the ring. Your victor right there. John Bolin taking out Johnny Chase. That's not it, everybody. We still have more coming your way next. Stay tuned.
I swear. All right, it's all loaded up. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a big one up right here, right now. Six man. Hell in a cell. Armageddon is here for the WGC title. First off, we got this man, Short Bus Eric, making his way into this bout after the big showing he had on the WGC title uh, holder, Clayman, just days ago. At the Game Attack takedown. The first out, but he has not been met last. That is for sure. There are five more people after him, including the champion himself. Short Bus Eric is here. Can he run away with the title that he helped invent? And oh, next. Here comes Shiro. Shiro, as you know, along with Tom the Iron Man and Clay, have been embroiled in a back and forth with each other over that title over the last couple of weeks. But here, with the help of uh, looks like Short Bus Eric, uh, As well, it looks like some others. We are going to finally put an end to everything. Only one man is going to walk out of that cell on his feet with that belt. Who is it going to be? I don't know. You don't know. I don't even know all the people in this match yet. As we just got Shiro and Short Bus before. And it looks like Craig Skitsmith is here from Game Attack. Guess it shouldn't be too big of a surprise. He is out here making his way into this uh, match after the tear he's been on with the new leap that he has turned here as of recently. question is can he keep it up in this match can he be as dominating in a six-man match as he is one-on-one -on -one? Well, I better hope he is though because this is for the title for the WGC belt Zero still in the ring, giving absolutely zero care that who's in there with them. And now we are halfway to everybody being out here now. Who do we got coming out next? It's got to be... Oh. Looks like the champ is coming out next. The WGC title holder himself.
And oh, it looks like coming out next here, we got somebody that has been both close and afar from the friendship, even used as a pawn for Clayman to hold on to that WGC title. Red Robe coming out here. At this point, he has a good chance as anybody else inside that unforgiving steel structure dangling above us here. All right, we still got one. Oh, and of course. Tom the Iron Man, last but not least here on the G1 Wrestling Universe. Death Battle pay-per-view here. All oh, hell's gonna break loose here in this cell. And this is it, the last man is out. And it's gonna be one of these six men are gonna be able to walk out of here. Undisputed with that WGC title. Your guess is as good as mine at this point, who it's gonna be. All right, people, all the players are here. Short bus, Clay. Now here, here we go, everybody breaks up, everybody inside, outside of the ring, Shiro going directly at their red robe as everybody out there, Clay with the sledgehammer on the outside, going to work here. As now it looks like, oh, short bus. has found an adversary in Clayman and now Robe sending Shiro to the outside and Tom is taking on Craig here. Now Craig sending him to the inside of the ring. This is where it needs to end. And now Robe and Shiro having it out inside. And Clay, oh, what is Clay doing? Clay removing that turnbuckle here. And oh, are you doing it again? That's two turnbuckles gone. And now Shiro and Short Bus turn their attention on Clay, man. And uh-oh, off the ropes. Oh, nail him. Now Shiro looking to Tom. Craig finds short bus as Clayman, the champ, on the outside. Gotta say, this must be rough for the likes of the champion. A new uh, title. And uh-oh, Shiro off the ropes. 
Oh, road face first. The title can change hands here in this match. The champion cannot even be involved in some cases with a cover if the B. Is now here on the outside. Short bus and Craig go at it. Back and forth now back inside. As Robe looking to try and clean house here. Clay back up. And oh no, boom, down goes Clay. And into the corner. Oh, slamming against that hard cold steel. But Clay with the reversal. But Robe is on top of things. But no reversal. Oh no. Three men left in the ring, but Shiro back up. And Robe is out, still three men in the ring. And now Tom getting back in here. Now Shiro with the, oh no, Tom stopping those suplexes dead in their tracks. And now, oh no, Tom sets up the iron spike. Boom, down he goes. And now Clay with short bus here. Oh, right into the steel goes robe. Oh my God, what is Clay doing? Now Clay with Craig on the outside. Oh man. Now Tom being thrown into that steel. Exposed turnbuckle there by robe and now no, grabbed hold, and again, oh, he rams in the robe, but robe. Everybody just back and forth in his complete chaos. Now it's just robe and Tom inside. Short bus Eric appears to be out on his feet, but gets back in the ring finally. And oh, no, tried for the super kick, but short bus stops him, grabs a hold of him. And now into the corner goes Clayman now being set up top here. Oh no. But oh, the reversal to Rove. Down he goes. But off the top goes Clayman as Shiro takes down Tom. Back out he goes. And now Shiro has his sights set on short bus Eric here. Throwing him into that exposed turnbuckle. But oh, there we are. Return to fire. Short bus Eric, oh, he drops him off at the bus stop. Boom, down goes Shiro. Everybody trying to get back to their feet with a chop from Clay. And here comes Craig in on the action. And now everybody has found an opponent here. And Clay with the power bombs. And now Robes sit flying out of the ring along with Shiro. But Tom not done with the red robe here on the outside and oh, taking him down with a big right hand. Now in the corner, oh no! Clay setting up to smash Craig Skepnis' dreams here. And there it, oh, Craig. Oh no, he's down. And now Short Bus being thrown right into that corner. And to the outside goes Clay. Oh, he sets his eyes on Shiro as Craig tries to pull himself up here. Now back in goes Rove, Clay and Tom. Craig is up. Clay and Craig have it out. And out goes Craig. Rove appears to be out on his feet. Shaking the bugs out. Oh, no. And, oh, there we go. Shiro stops that. Hold dead in the water. And, oh, no. Robe going up high. And, oh, face first. And now it is Tom. And, oh, no. Here comes Shiro. But blocked by Short Bus. And nice snap suplex. And, oh, bust up time for Tom. But Craig has found his way inside the ring. Grab a hold of Short Bus. Tom back to his feet. Has his eyes set on Short Bus, it looks like. Craig looking on, just letting this happen. 
And now Craig with Tom the Iron Man. Oh, but here comes Clay to stop that dead in its tracks. And to the outside goes Tom the, oh, bouncing him off the steel cage. Oh my God. He's out on his feet. And Craig continues to do damage here on the outside. Everybody else inside the ring. And oh, Robe with the reversal. Shira with the reversal into a German suplex. And Robe taking out Tom. Going for a cover. What's he thinking? Everybody is right there. And oh my God. Couldn't get to it in time. Shiro saw what was happening, but he couldn't get to it. Everybody else was distracted. A red robe runs away with the victory here. And the six man hell in a cell match. Oh my God. And there he is. Your new WGC title. A red robe somehow, some way beats the odds. After everything that has happened, a red robe finally has some gold. And up next we have the tag team champions coming your way in a tag team title match. Oh my fucking God, I can't believe my character won that. That is bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm calling bullshit on that. I mean, every every simulation that I ran, okay, I ran several, 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 several simulations of this, and I had I never won. It was either one of three people. It was either Clay retaining, Short Bus winning, or Shiro winning. Okay, those were the three people every single time when I did a simulation who won. Every time, it was one of those three. It was never Craig, it was never, never you know, Tom. Well, you know what? Since I got the title, I make the matches, I guess. You want a title shot, Shiro? All right. You can have one. Next week, you, me, one-on-one. -on -one. I'll make it an open challenge. One shot for a new person every week until I lose or we get to the pay-per-view. You heard it here first. No, not right now. I'm not doing it right now. I just won the damn belt. <laughs>
I'll let you choose uh, the show. Whatever you want, Shiro. You and me, one on one. count anywhere all right that's fine that's fine by me <laughs> well i'll tell you right now a little behind the scene thing it's basically how just the computer made it because initially uh there were there was one like throwaway match all right which was at the beginning but for some reason the game didn't uh put like the ladies belt up for grabs that's why the first match was a ladies table match all right uh that's why i tweaked it and made it a table match uh for the belt which is probably why it fucked up as well but uh, for some reason, initially, the main event was, well, a tag match. It was this tag match uh, that you're going to see, but it wasn't for a belt. So, I made it for the belt and added an extra stipulation. So, basically, it's just what the computer did. And that six-man, like, Armageddon, Hell in a Cell, everything went crazy... The computer did that too. The only thing is though, originally there were uh, two other people, uh, you know, obviously I was in it, but one of them was, what do you
All right, just need to do something real quick here. Hopefully either Cade or Renegade will come in here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here now for your main event of the evening for the G1 Nation Tag Titles. Coming out first are the challengers, Team Omni. It's going to fight it out here in a steel cage. Not a Hell in a Cell, but rather a steel cage. Had to bring it down in size a little bit after the last match. After somehow, someway, Red Road running away with that victory. So now it'll just be Team Omni and the tag champs in a steel cage match for your main event here for the G1 Nation Tag Team titles. As you know, these two have been tearing their way through the G1 Nation Tag Division. Team Omni has come up victory after victory after victory, finally cementing their way, especially after showing their involvement with the champions at uh, Game Attack Takedown. All right, they're here. They are inside the ring. Now all we need are the champions. Here they come. Blitz team. The G1 Nation tag champions. Brandon and Taylor coming out here. As you know, this is a steel cage match, not Hell in a Cell. The... Rules are with this, the first team with both members to either score a pinfall or make it to the outside of the ring will be your new champs. But also a nice little note of trivia. One of the tag champs uh, in the past not had a lot of luck with steel cage matches. There it is. The G1 Nation tag belt. All right, the cage is lowered. And oh, starting off rough and ready here. Cade going after Brandon. And oh, there we are, Taylor going after Renegade. And now it looks like, oh, nope, reversal from Cade. And, oh, dragging him down by the leg, or by the arm, rather. Now it looks like the Team Omni, Cade, and Renegade coming out on top. 
Now, uh oh, off the ropes. Kid, oh, oh, no. <laughs> there we are. Both of the champs go down. And now Omni, oh, there we are, finally striking back the champs here. But Kate catches that leg. And up on, oh no. Oh, Renegade taken down by Taylor. Now up on the ropes and oh, splash. And boom, down he goes. Now Renegade and Cade in control here. Oh, kick right to the bottom of the back. But now, oh, reversals all around. As the champions are back in control. But oh, Cade taking down Brandon. As now the back and forth between these two teams are real. They each have found their opponent and are just not giving in, not losing sight of the objective here. Both of these uh, members of each team have to just be beaten down so they both can get out of this steel cage. And now, uh-oh. Looks like Brandon's gonna try and make a break for it here, but Renegade sees him. Taylor goes to stop him. There goes Brandon over the top. Half of the champions are out. But now the thing is, it is a two on one situation here for Taylor. Brandon making a break for it. As now Renegade, oh, down goes Taylor. And uh-oh, here comes Renegade. Oh, running knee right to the side of the head of Taylor. Not looking good here inside of the ring. But Taylor's trying to hold his own. And oh, out of the ring. Out of the side of the ring. Out of that corner goes Taylor. And oh, down, flipping all the way over. And now, uh oh, Renegade. Looks like Renegade's going for it. As Cade has got Taylor. Renegade is out, and now there goes Kane. We can have new champs right now. Taylor needs to hurry and get up, but he's not moving after that combination. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have new champs. It's over. It's over. It's over. Team Omni are your new champions. All he's got to do is touch the ground. There, he does it. He does it. Team Omni are your new G1 Nation tag team champions because there there you see Brandon a little bit too early on the escape allows the tag team of Omni to take out Taylor and there you see Cade after the beat down to Taylor climbing his way down to victory Oh my goodness, there it is. Here they are. Your new tag team champions. Renegade and Cade. Team Omni standing on top of the G1 Nation. And that is it for your G1 Wrestling Universe Death Battle pay-per-view, everybody. Thank you and good night.
Sound good? Good. Great. Awesome. I want to say thank you all for being here. I uh, got a whole bunch of follows uh, from people. Not really a lot of those uh, people talking in the chat. They were all probably from uh, the various uh, Twitch app. Whatchamahoos it? So also, here's the thing. Starting on Tuesday with the Game Attack knockback, uh, this little uh, doohickey. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. That right there, that's it. Uh, that boss battle thing will be coming back uh, to start of next week to earn the next pay-per-view. And I hit the wrong damn button. Son of a bitch. It stopped the music. But that is coming back to help earn the next pay-per-view early. And the next pay-per-view... If I can get back into this here right quickly... I will tell you what it is. Is totally... Screwed. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's totally screwed. One of the last big screw attack uh, things I stole from them because of the stuff and things I took. Now it is mine. All mine! So, yes, yeah, starting next week, there will be a new boss battle meter. And all through the month for the next four weeks leading up to totally screwed if you happen to beat the boss through subscriptions follows bits all those three things all those three things they will go towards beating the boss and they will allow you all to get the next pay-per-view just like this one early once more all the way up to SGC. And then, of course, starting tomorrow, we're going to poke around in 2K18 and see what kind of fun we're going to have there and hopefully not have as many glitches. Please, God, not as many glitches. Please, AI, know what the fuck a table is and where it is and how to pick it up for crying out loud. So, yes, and also, I'm going to go ahead and put on the uh, ending screen here real quick because there is a little something that I want to do because if you haven't hit the follow or you haven't subscribed and you wanna or if you're here and you want to be in on the universe just contact me hit that follow button or if you like what this is like the pay-per-views like the other streams that I do whatever and if you feel like I do a good job be sure if you feel like it, you can go ahead and subscribe. So, here we go. Because I did something. I don't know if anybody's seen it yet. Now, watch this. Hopefully it works. That's not it. That's the wrong fucking thing. Now, if you can hear me over this, watch this. I have credits. Check this out. 